Hi everyone, so first of all, excuse my voice, I lost it and it's just starting to come back to me. Anyways, today I'm doing my skincare video for you guys. It's not all about the products that you topically use on your skin. It's your lifestyle that affects what our skin looks like. So lifestyle and what you eat and how often you sleep and how much you drink water and what you put into your body and um, if you exercise and there's all these different factors that come into play that will potentially help you to get clear skin or would potentially hurt your skin and make you break out. So I want you guys to understand that it's not all about the products that you use topically. I do really, really want to stress the importance of lifestyle. A lot of people, a lot of people think that it's just about the cleanser that you use on your skin. And it isn't. I'm not trying to say that the products that you use on your skin on an everyday basis to cleanse it and tone it and whatever, I'm not trying to say that those are not important because they definitely are. They're just as important as lifestyle, how many hours of sleep you get, how much water you drink, all of those factors. I want you guys to understand that they're equal. So you cannot just wash your face and like keep it clean and then have clear skin. I mean, I guess that's the case for some of us, not everyone, but doing that is just as important as drinking water and sleeping and exercising and all those other things. So with that being said, let's go ahead and get started. To start off, I don't really wear any makeup to school except for a little bit of eyeliner and mascara. Um, sometimes I wear eyeshadow depending on how early I wake up or if I'm tired or if I'm not. So it just kind of all depends, but other than that, I really don't wear any face makeup to school. Um, I used to wear foundation and powder and blush and bronzer every single day to school and I just found that it was taking up too much time and it really wasn't helping my skin. In fact, it was hurting my skin wearing makeup every single day to school. So if I were you and you, um, and I was struggling with clearing up my skin, I would definitely recommend not wearing makeup to school every single day or at least trying to wear a lighter amount of makeup so that way that your skin can breathe because if you're caking makeup onto your skin every single day, it's not going to help your skin at all. In fact, it's going to hurt it. And I really don't need to use a makeup remover wipe today because my cleanser will just be enough. Um, but I want you to understand that I don't have a lot of makeup on my face right now other than a little bit of like eye makeup. Uh, but face makeup wise, I don't have any on at all other than a very small amount of concealer which has worn off by now. Okay, then I put this little head wrap thing on. I don't know where I got this. I've had it for years and years and years. I have absolutely no idea where I got this. I do apologize. But basically I just put my hair up and then I put the rest like in a bun on the top of my head. Mind you that I do not use an acne fighting cleanser. Basically, I don't use a cleanser that has salicylic acid or benzoyl peroxide in it because those really, really irritate my skin. So I stay away from those ingredients. Um, salicylic acid, I believe, is in one of the products that I'm going to show you today. And that product I only use once every two weeks. And also, it's a very, very small amount of salicylic acid. It's hardly any at all. So it doesn't really affect my skin. But if I were to use it on a day-to-day -day basis, uh, it would definitely affect my skin. Salicylic acid on my skin and what I've noticed on a lot of other people's skin is that it has the tendency to dry out your skin and then your skin produces oil to correct the imbalance of your skin not having enough moisture because it's dry. So salicylic acid ends up making your skin look oily and therefore you start breaking out. And I know that kind of contradicts a lot of your beliefs on what you've maybe heard about salicylic acid before. So from my personal experience, I found that salicylic acid tends to make your skin worse. And that is not the case for every single one of you. If you're using a cleanser or something in your skincare routine right now that has salicylic acid in it, please feel free to keep using it. But if you're looking for a new cleanser or maybe your skin is not clearing up and you cannot figure out why, I would suggest taking out all the salicylic acid and benzoyl peroxide from your skincare routine. So say that there's 2% salicylic acid in your cleanser and you're using that morning and night. That is an extremely excessive amount of salicylic acid for most people's skin types. 
And basically what that's going to do is it's going to dry out your skin. Your skin will therefore produce more oil because your skin is dry to make up for the lack of hydration. Your skin's going to produce more oil and you're going to look more oily and you're going to have more breakouts. That's what I've seen from personal experience. That's not going to be how it is in every single one of yours cases, but I would suggest staying away from it. This is the RE9 Advanced Smoothing Facial Cleanser. It's the best one that I've ever used. It's kind of like an anti-aging cleanser, but it works really, really well for my skin. Uh, it lathers very, very easily and nicely, and it gives you a good lather. It's very emollient. Um, I really like this a lot. I barely need to use any of this cleanser at all, and I'm going to get my water nice and warm, and I'm going to open up my pores with the warm water, and then I'm going to use a little bit of this and cleanse my face. The next part of my skincare routine is my PMD. Now, I only use this once a week, and this is a personal microdermabrasion system, so basically this is going to help even out your skin tone and remove scars or help lighten scars. Um, basically, it smooths out your skin, it exfoliates. Um, it's like a really, really, really deep exfoliation. So this has tremendously, tremendously helped my skin, especially my forehead. I used to have so much redness and so much scarring all over my forehead, and it's really helped to even out my skin tone and help those scars. If you'd like to purchase this, I'm actually going to leave you guys a coupon code in the bottom bar. I believe it's 25% off, and I'm going to leave the coupon code and everything in the bottom bar so you can check that out if you want to purchase this. I absolutely love it. It's one of my favorite things, favorite parts of skincare. And that's another thing. I think that skincare routine... Your skincare routine should be enjoyable and pleasurable, and when you do your skincare routine, you should feel better about your skin becoming clearer or cleaner. You're going to pull on your skin a little bit, not rough or anything, and you're going to turn this on. I use the little blue head right, like this, not the green one. The green one's for, I think, like thicker skin or something like that, but I use the blue one. It's a little bit more sensitive. So you're going to pull your skin like this just a little bit, turn it on, and just run it over your skin. Don't leave the PMD on one part of your skin for too long. Keep it moving. If you have it on a problem area and you want to go over it a few more times, that's totally fine. Just don't keep it on one part of your face for a long period of time. This little guy is just as effective, if not more, than professional microdermabrasion, which is pretty cool. So after I use my PMD, and only when I use my PMD, I use the PMD Calming Neuro Neutralizing Toner. So I'm going to use this now. But if I'm not using the PMD, I use Witch Hazel, which is like a natural toner. Actually, it is a natural toner. It's exactly a natural toner. Um, basically, I don't really like to use toners because they tend to have alcohol in them. Um, I don't really know if this one has alcohol in it, but it doesn't really matter because I only use it once a week. Remember, it's kind of everything in moderation, I guess you could say. Actually, I forgot to tell you, on using the Witch Hazel, I don't. I used to use a cotton pad and a cotton ball. I actually use gauze, and gauze does a lot more for your skin than just a regular cotton ball would do because cotton balls tend to absorb your toner or the product that you're using, uh, whereas with gauze, it just is going to absorb a little bit of it, and then it also has a little bit of a texture, so it's really going to work the product into your skin and really clean your skin. So I would definitely suggest getting gauze next time you're at the store instead of cotton balls for your toner, but for now, because I ran out of gauze and cotton balls and everything else, um, I'm going to use a tissue. So <laughs> that's what I'm gonna use. All right, so I'm just going to apply this all over my face right after I've used the PMD. So when I'm using the PMD little guy, I use the PMD Professional Recovery Moisturizer. I just use a little bit of this and I apply this all over and rub it into my skin. And then on a regular day-to-day -day basis, I just use the Clinique Moisture Surge. So I'm just going to put this on anyways, just for a little bit of extra added moisture to my skin. I love this moisturizer, especially if you have really, really dry skin. I would highly suggest checking this out, maybe getting a little sample at Sephora or Macy's or something. 
So now I'm going to use my A Mantle Cream, and I have gotten so many questions about this cream. So basically, your skin has this layer on your face called the acid mantle, which helps to prevent breakouts. It's basically, in a sense, a very, very thin layer of acid that your skin has to make sure that you don't get breakouts, to fight breakouts. Um, I ruined that by using too much salicylic acid on my skin. So I purchased this, which is supposed to help restore the acid mantle, which therefore will help with breakouts. I just use a tiny bit of this, and I really mainly put it on my forehead. I also just dab it wherever else I kind of feel like I would want it to go. So that's kind of just what I do. And then I just rub this into my skin, and it helps to repair the acid mantle and so far this has obviously done something because I used to have breakouts all over my forehead. I definitely owe a lot to this cream for helping my skin with breakouts because um, without the acid mantle being restored on my face I would not have cleared up my skin. So now for exfoliating if I'm not using the PMD. So since I only use the PMD once a week I also use other exfoliants. I use my Kate Summerville Exfoliate every other day. I don't really know if you're supposed to use this every other day, but I do ever since I've gotten it, and it works amazing. It's such a good exfoliator. It's kind of like a little mini facial, and it's green. You put this, you just use it like a regular exfoliator. It has like the little beads, but then you leave it on for a few minutes, and it helps with cleaning your skin out because of the enzymes that it has in it, and then you rinse it off, and your skin feels really, really smooth. Then I use a chemical exfoliant, and I only use this once every couple weeks, and this is the Peter Thomas Roth Gentle Complexion Correction Pads. Um, basically, a chemical exfoliant, uh, I'm just going to give you a little visual demonstration. So here's your pore, and here's all the dirt and stuff inside of it, just kind of picture it. And then here is a layer of dead skin on top of your pore, essentially. So this is what your pore and your dead skin look like. Alright, if you're just using a regular exfoliant with a little exfoliating bead, say you're using the St. Ives, what that's going to do is it's going to take off the dead layer of skin. So, good job. You just, you know, you're not going to have that dead skin clogging your pores. But you still have dirt and other things and maybe some other old dead skin inside of your pore. And you need to clean that out. So, if you use a chemical exfoliant, you essentially are removing the dead layer of skin and cleaning out the inside of your pore making for a cleaner face. So that's why I like to use a chemical exfoliant, but they are really harsh, so I would only recommend them, um, or using them, once every other week. So I like to use these, they smell so nice, and these have lasted seriously forever because actually I cut them in half because I don't even need a full one. So you're really only using one whole pad every month, which is a pretty great deal. And these are kind of expensive, but it's totally worth it because they've lasted me forever. Another that I wanted to really quickly talk about were two little other products that I use for my skin. Um, I for totally forgot to mention my Clarisonic. I use this once a week in the shower. So I'm not going to demonstrate on how to do it. I'm sure that you all are familiar with Clarisonic. Maybe if you're not, this is just a skin care cleansing tool that really deep cleans your pores. So if you have really problematic skin, I would definitely suggest getting this. It's absolutely 100% worth money, no doubt about it. I highly, highly recommend this, but it does, it, it does and it will purge your skin, meaning that when you use this, it's going to pull all the bacteria and dirt to the surface and will cause breakouts. They will go away, but if you use this too frequently, it's going to do more harm to your skin than help, so you need to learn to use this in moderation, and for me, that's only using it once a week in the shower. So I have the full, regular, not the Mia, this is the actual, like, full-size Clarisonic, and it's in the light, ba like, the light baby pink color. This is the Tanda Zap. And this is a little blue light device, and I'm not going to turn it on because I don't want to like shine it in the mirror and in my eyes and everywhere. Um, it's probably not a good thing to like shine it into your eyes. So basically, I'm going to demonstrate. Um, I have, my, my chin normally breaks out. I don't really have any breakouts right now. This breakout right here is going away. And other than that, my skin's completely clear, other than the fact that it's a little bit red and I have some acne scars. Um, but... I'm going to put this on my chin because this actually does help prevent breakouts, so you want to hold it on. And I need to change the battery. Normally it would stay on for about two minutes, and it's going to kill all the bacteria on that part of your skin. So if you have a breakout on your forehead, you can't just like 
put it on your forearm for like five seconds and then move it to the next breakout on your face. You have to keep it in the same spot for two minutes and then move it around. But I have to change the battery so it's probably only going to stay on for a few more seconds. So, I really like this. It was only $49 at Sephora and if you have problematic skin I would definitely suggest checking this out. I know that I use a lot of things for my skin but they really do work for me and my skin used to be a lot worse than it is and by doing the things that I do to my skin I found that my skin has really become manageable and I've really been happy with my skin lately. So another thing that I thought I will show you real quickly while I'm holding this against my face um, are my makeup remover wipes. When I have foundation on and I'm wearing it, I use the Inglot Milk and Tonic ones. These don't break me out at all. I love them. They're great. And that's my skincare routine. I wish you the best of luck with your skin and thank you so much for watching. Bye everyone.